Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to evaluate whether the following series are uh, uh, divergent or convergent. Okay, so I chose four series here. Number one, the series number one is sigma uh, k2 divided by k2 minus 1 when k varies from 1 to infinity. Okay, the second series is sigma 1 plus 3 with the power of n divided by 2 with the power of n when n changes from 1 to infinity. The third one is sigma s square root of, uh, sorry, uh, the nth root of 2 when n changes from uh, 1 to infinity. And the fourth series is that sigma 2n divided by 3n plus 1 when n changes from 1 to infinity. The reason I chose these four series is that uh, using the same test you can evaluate this series and that test is that if the limit of a n when n goes to infinity is not equal to zero or if it does not exist then you can conclude that the series sigma a n when n changes from 1 to infinity is divergent okay so now i will show you how uh, how use how uh, by using this uh, test you can evaluate uh, whether or not the above series are uh, convergent okay so let's first look into the first series the first one is sigma uh, k2 divided by k2 minus 1 when k changes from 1 to infinity okay so let's calculate the limit of uh, k2 divided by k2 minus 1 when k goes to infinity. So to calculate this limit, you need to divide the numerator and denominator by k2. That will be limit k to infinity. k2 divided by k2 will be 1. k2 divided by k2 will be 1 minus 1 divided by k2 which will be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 okay which is not equal to 0 therefore using this theorem using this test that if l uh, if limit of a n when n goes to infinity is not equal to 0 you can conclude that the series is divergent so here the limit is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 therefore you can conclude that this series is divergent okay so let's look at the second example the second one was sigma 1 plus 3 with the power of n divided by 2 with the power of n when n changes from 1 to infinity okay let's calculate the let's calculate the limit 1 plus 3 with the power of n divided by 2 with the power of n when n goes to infinity to calculate this limit i divide the numerator and denominator by 2 with the power of n so that will be uh, that will be 1 divided by 2 with the power of n plus that is 3 with the power of n divided by 2 with the power of n divided by 2 2 with the power of n divided by 2 with the power of n will be equal to 1 so this one will be equal to limit n goes to infinity 1 divided by 2 with the power of n will be 0 because n is infinity 2 with the power of infinity will be infinity and 1 divided by infinity is equal to 0 plus uh, so this one I can write it as 3 divided by 2 with the power of n divided by 1. So that means this limit will be equal to limit n goes to infinity uh, 3 divided by 2 with the power of n. So here n goes to infinity and since, the, since 3 divided by 2 is more than 1 that means this one tends to infinity. Okay since 3 divided by 2 is more than 1 therefore when you uh, calculate with the power of n that goes to infinity the result tends to infinity which means that limit does not exist and according to this test if the limit a n is not equal to 0 or if it doesn't exist then you can conclude the series is divergent so here you can conclude this series is divergent okay so let's look at the third example the third example is sigma 2 nth root of 2 when n changes from 1 to infinity. Again, the same story. So you need to calculate the limit 
of 2 nth root of 2 when n uh, tends to infinity and this will be limit 2 with the power of 1 divided by n when n goes to infinity which will be equal to 2 with the power of 0 because 1 divided by infinity is 0 and 2 with the power of 0 we know it is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 okay so according to this test when the limit of a n when n goes to infinity is not equal to 0 therefore the series is divergent so here the limit is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 therefore we can conclude that this series is divergent okay and now let's look at the last example the fourth one so sigma 2n divided by 3n plus 1 n from 1 to infinity okay so here again the same story you need to calculate limit 2n divided by 3n plus 1 uh, when n goes to infinity to calculate this limit you need to uh, divide the uh, numerator and denominator by n so that will be limit n goes to infinity uh, 2n divided by n will be 2 3n divided by n will be 3 plus 1 divided by n which will be equal to 2 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by infinity will be 0 which is equal to 2 thirds which is not equal to 0 and according to this test, when the limit is not equal to zero, you can conclude that the series is divergent. Okay? So, um, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you are interested, please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.